Hey, hi, hello. What's up guys? My name is Ashley and today I have a video for you. Now, let me give you a little background into this, okay, before I start it. Yesterday, I was contemplating and I'm like, when am I gonna have time to film another video? And then I thought, oh my God, Thursday, I have time to film a video tomorrow. I started thinking, well, what am I gonna make this video about? Because I don't wanna do a book talk on the Dream Thieves, even though I do have to film that because I just uploaded a book talk. I also don't wanna do a tag. I haven't really read a lot of books, you know? And I don't think that I would have very many different books to put in the tag. And I don't want to do a book haul because even though I already got a bunch of books in the mail, like a lot of books, I'm actually waiting for more to show up. So I want to do a book haul after I finally get all of the books, right? And so I'm thinking, thinking, and then it just kind of hits me. Why don't I do a bookshelf tour? Like, why not? I have bookshelves, I have books. You may not have seen all the way to the bottom of my shelves. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna bring you my bookshelf tour. So let's go. Okay, so this is the top row of my bookshelf. First, I have, of course, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, and then the Sea of Monsters, the Titan's Curse, the Battle of the Labyrinth, and the Last Olympian. I'm not gonna pull every single one of these out because I'm sure you guys know what they look like. Actually, I am gonna pull them all out. And behind those books, I have my first ever paperback copy of Percy Jackson and the Olympians, and it's very beat up and the pages are very yellow, but I still hold them near and dear to my heart, but because they're kind of ugly, they go in the back. So the next book that I have that you can clearly see is The Trials of Apollo, book one, The Hidden Oracle. This is kind of my Riordan shelf. Yes. I actually pre-ordered it on Amazon and it got here on the day it came out, May 3rd. And it was the first book that I had ever gotten this month and I'm really, really excited even though I haven't read it yet. So the next books that I have are my Heroes of Olympus series. There's The Lost Hero, The Son of Neptune, The Mark of Athena, The House of Hades, and of course, The Last Olympian. I have a lot of love for this series. The next book that I have is one that I already did a book talk on. The first book talk on this channel, and that's Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard, book one, The Sword of Summer. The next two books that I have on my shelf are The Iron Trial and The Copper Gauntlet, both by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black. So the next book is going to be Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. I am kind of ashamed I haven't read this yet because I've heard so much about it in the booktube community. And I know that the movie is coming out in September and I have not watched the trailer yet because I have been waiting to read this book to watch the trailer. And I'm sorry I haven't read it yet, I will soon. And then the last two books that I have on my first shelf are A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab and A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. You guys in the comments keep recommending them to me and I can't tell you how excited I am to read them and I will pick them up eventually this year, I promise. Okay, so this is my second highest shelf and as you can see, I do have only Harry Potter books up here. We all know what the Harry Potter books look like. We all know what they are, so I'm just gonna read them off to you. I have the Sorcerer's Stone, the Chamber of Secrets, the Prisoner of Azkaban, the Goblet of Fire, the Order of the Phoenix, the Half-Blood Prince, and the Deathly Hollows. Even though I haven't read all of the books, I do know the names and the order in which they come in. I'm not that bad, guys. Come on. And over here I do have my Hermione Pop Funko, Funko Pop, I don't really know how to say it, what they're called, but I do have Hermione and I have Dumbledore. This is probably like my favorite shelf on my entire bookshelf that's all dedicated to the Shadowhunter Chronicles. Starting off, I have my beautiful hard covers of the Mortal Instruments. I have City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, they're getting very heavy, City of Fallen Angels, City of Lost Souls, and City of Heavenly Fire. Now next, I actually have a second copy of City of Heavenly Fire, and no, of course this one's not my signed one. Why would it be? Ooh, that was skill. Of course I'm gonna want a signed copy of her book. Look at that signature I could have done myself, but 
It's Cassandra Clare, and you know it's Cassandra Clare. And also it has this really cool stamp in it, and I love it so much. Continuing down the line, I have Clockwork Angel, Clockwork Prince, and Clockwork Princess, all from the Infernal Devices. Next, I have the Shadowhunters Codex by Cassandra Clare and Joshua Lewis, who I'm pretty sure is her husband. It's Clary's copy of the Shadowhunter Codex, and in it, you have like her little notes that she took and Simon's notes that he revised and then Jace took it and revised his own notes. And so as you're reading her copy of the Shadowhunter Codex, you get like these little snippets of notes and things from them talking to each other and this just sarcasm and it brings it so well together. Plus, look at the inside of this book. This is beautiful. And so is the cover, look at it. Look at it, the book Naked is beautiful. The next book that I have is The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson. So the next book that I have, obviously, you can see right here, and it's been here for a very long time, is Lady Midnight. This was an amazing book, and like I said before, I have read it in less than two days, and I will reread it again before Lord of Shadows comes out. And then the final book that I have on this shelf is City of Bones, the new cover, but it's the Barnes & Noble exclusive collector's edition, so it's the hardcover with the spine decoration. And I'm just gonna continue on over here because it's a, an extension of the Mortal Instruments. I basically have the first four books in the Mortal Instruments in paperback because this was how they came when I first started reading them. I don't actually have books five and six of the Mortal Instruments in paperback, but I have been searching everywhere and I cannot find these little shits anywhere and it's pissing me off so much. I might just go onto Amazon and see if I can get it from like some third party seller or just a used copy because these paperbacks are the copies that I will read. I don't want to read my hardcovers because I don't want to risk damaging them. Those are for collecting. These ones are for reading again and again. Apart from that, I have the first two books of the Infernal Devices in paperback. I. Um, did actually find the third and it may or may not be in my book haul soon to come. I don't know, you'll just have to see. Okay, so I'm actually on my knees for this bookshelf and you might notice that there's like a gap here and a gap here, mostly because on my bed right over there are all of these books that I just received in the mail and I had them on my bookshelf because I didn't just want to sit them anywhere and but I don't want to show you guys yet because I haven't hauled them and so yeah. I've got Throne of Glass down here. Then I have Illumine by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Then I have my cute little snow globe. This I actually just put here yesterday because I had a big space and I needed to fill it. It had been on my dresser and it's Nemo. It's Nemo. I've had this for so long. You guys have no idea. I got this when I was so little and I still have it and it's still one of my favorite snow globes ever. I don't know where the water went though. Like the water is like slowly coming out of it and it's not leaking anywhere so I don't know where it went. Then I have Passenger by Alexandra Bracken. Then next I have The Hobbits by J.R.R. Tolkien and I actually did get through this whole book and I actually absolutely loved it. Then, then I have this massive compilation edition of The Lord of the Rings. Now, so next on my shelf I have Divergent, Insurgent, ugh. Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant by Veronica Roth. I have The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. Everybody knows about these books. I don't have to go into detail talking about them. You need to get hard covers of The Hunger Games and Divergent because they just don't go with the shelf and it really aggravates me every time I look at it. So now I've moved over to my contemporary shelf. These are just the books that have like are either contemporaries or have light bright colors other than this one but you know whatever. Obviously Alice's Adventures in Wonderland is not a contemporary but it has a pretty purple cover and it goes very well with these books and it's beautiful and it's illustrated because it's like the 150th anniversary edition 
and it's just beautiful and I love it so much and I've never actually read Alice in Wonderland and I was never actually into Alice in Wonderland and so I feel like this is like a really good way to jump into it. So the next book that I have is I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson. Is This is Where It Ends by Mariki Nishkamp. Pretty sure I didn't say her name right the first time, didn't say it right this time and I'm very sorry for that. So then the next two books that I have are Anna and the French Kiss and Lola and the Boy Next Door. Next I have Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. And then I have these two books which I also got from Anthropology and it's Sense and Sensibility and Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Now I have absolutely no interest in reading anything by Jane Austen right now but these covers are so cute and there are two more books to this edition and I needed them. So this is my final shelf that I have. I don't actually go to the very bottom shelf, I just keep random crap down there. Uh, this shelf just houses mostly school books that I've had to read and a couple of books that I read for fun. The first book that I have is Paper Towns by John Green and the next book that I have is An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. So the next book that I have is If I Stay by Gail Foreman, Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card. Yes, this is the movie cover. Yes, I only read this because there was a movie coming out and I actually really liked this book. The next book that I have is Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. I did not like this book and I did not like this movie. I'm just gonna state it out there right now. It was very predictable for me. I don't know. And the next three books that I have, I don't even know why I have them. I went through this phase where I needed to read these books, but the first one is I Am Number Four, and then The Power of Six, and The Rise of Nine. Don't get me wrong, they're pretty good books, but they were pretty good when I was like younger and now I just have no interest in reading them. I also have Witch and Wizard and The Gift by James Patterson. Again, I read these when I was younger and I got them for Christmas from my mom. I also have Dorothy Must Die, again, in my book haul, haven't picked it up. Really want to and we'll get to it soon. Now, I'm just gonna go through my school books and not even really pull them out because I really don't want to have to relive having to read them again. College, what it is, was, and should be, Andrew Del Bago, Russian Revolution, didn't even pick that book up. Rum Punch by Elmore Leonard, I actually really liked this book. Antigone by Sophocles, that was for a philosophy class. The Quick Red Fox by John D. MacDonald, lots of deep, metaphorical language. Miami Blues by Charles Williford, another Florida crime novel. Not really crazy about this one. John Steinbeck of Mice and Men. Then I have Sick Puppy by Carl Hyacin. Now if anybody's ever read anything by Carl Hyacin, his books are hilarious and his writing is so funny and his characters are just whacked out and crazy. And so I really, really liked this book. Then I have the Bhagavad Gita. No idea who wrote it, something in like India. And Their Eyes Were Watching God by Zora Neale Hurston. Five Dialogues by Plato. Philosophy. Then I have Dr. Zhivago by Boris Pasternak. Tess of the D'Urbervilles by Thomas Hardy. And I have Body by Harry Cruz. The Old Man in the Sea by Ernest Hemingway. I actually thought this is kind of like a memory of going to Hemingway's house in Key West with all of the like six-toed cats and that was really fun. Yeah, The French Revolution, and didn't read that either. Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Yes, I can say his name. Atonement by Ian McEwen. Then I have A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. Read it in my freshman year of high school, loved it. Contents Under Pressure by Edna Buchanan, another crime fiction novel, and I really liked this one because there's a really strong female protagonist, and I like loved it. Hamlet by Shakespeare, and I actually picked this up in a used bookstore in St. Augustine, and I love Hamlet, like I love it. And I don't know why, but I like Shakespeare. 92 in the Shade by Thomas McGuane. I would not recommend this to anybody unless you want to be confused out the ass. It's Swamplandia by Karen Russell. I've heard really great things about this. Up 1984 by George Orwell. I read this in AP Lit and loved it. And I actually have read Animal Farm too back in high school sometime and I loved that too. So, yeah, 
All right, guys, so that's gonna be it for my bookshelf tour today. I'm probably planning on doing another one in December after I've gotten books for Christmas and my birthday and everything, and then I'll have a lot more books to show everyone. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, give this video a big thumbs up, and if you share any similar experiences with any of these books or just wanna talk about something, comment down below. Subscribe to my channel if you wanna be notified of when I upload new videos, and go ahead and follow me on social media if you want to. I am at a dash of ash 12 for basically everything Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads related. Like I said before, my name is Ashley. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys next time, okay? Bye!